The moment has arrived. The appointed hour is finally here. John chapter 17 is the longest recorded prayer that we have from Jesus. And in this chapter, he pours out his heart, his desires for himself, his disciples, and for all believers. Scholars agree that this is one of the greatest prayers ever prayed. We are invited to listen in as God the Son prays to the Father just before he gives up his life on the cross for you and for me. Leslie Newbegin, a missionary to India, wrote this on his exposition of John 17. When a man is going on a long journey, he will find time on the eve of his departure for a quiet talk with his family. And if he is a man of God, will end by commending to God not only himself and his journey, but also the family whom he leaves behind. Very surely will this be so if his journey is the last journey. This is it. Jesus' final moments are here, and we are invited to listen in on his quiet talk, his prayer, his final words telling of, of his incredible love for the Father, his disciples, and for those who choose to follow him. When Jesus is praying here, he's inviting us to listen, to feel his love. In the beginning of John chapter 17, Jesus prays for himself and lets the Father know that he accomplished the work that the Father gave him to do. Jesus had lived out his life completely dependent on the Father, and his desire is that God would be glorified. Then Jesus prays for his disciples, that the Father would keep them and sanctify them, that his disciples would be set apart and serve him only. He then closes the prayer by praying for all believers, that we might be unified in him and one day share his glory. Jesus desires that we would live lives that honor God, all for him, in the ways that we act and what we say and do. To live as Jesus lived, you know, Jesus is well aware that the journey is long, and so he prays specifically for us that we would have a deep, abiding relationship with the Father, just like him. As this is a prayer, let me read verses 13 through 19. I want to make it personal. Receive these words from Jesus today. But I say these things while I'm still in the world, so that you may have the full measure of my joy within you. I have given you my Father's word, and the world has hated you. For you are not of the world any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that God would take you out of the world, but that he would protect you from the evil one. You are not of the world, even as I am not of it. But I want you to be made holy by the truth. God's word is truth. As my Father sent me into the world, I am sending you into the world. I am sanctifying myself for you, that you too may be truly holy. Jesus prays for us to have joy, to have trust and faith, for protection, strength, and comfort in a hostile world. Jesus is sending us as his witness into the world, to the ends of the earth. May you receive this prayer from Jesus and know and experience his love for you today. Thank you.